Hello there folks, here's a wee introduction and a quick unboxing of my power bank that I recently bought from eBay. So you'll see the box there, it says power bank. Um, nicely packaged I suppose. Um, everything written on the back is in Chinese, um, so there's some English on there. Um, describes very roughly how it works. Um, not particularly useful at all, the writing on the manual and the documentation, it's uh, very poor. So we needed to work out how it actually operated. <clears throat> so, on opening the device we'll see there's a plastic insert tray, <clears throat> the power bank itself, a USB cable with an unusual end on it and eight adapters. So in closer investigation we'll see the power bank itself. Um, <clears throat> Two USB outputs, um, one USB, that's a mini USB input for charging. Uh, we've got the power button and the LEDs and the label on the back. This is apparently 50,000 milliamp hours. Hmm, not sure. We'll see how we get on in real life once we get this charged up. So once again, there's the charging port on the back uh, with a mini USB. Moving on to some of the accessories, we've got the uh, power cable. <clears throat> now this is used for both power out and the charging. If you put the micro USB or the mini USB cable on, now this cable is very short. It's only about two feet long. Uh, later on, when you see me using it, I'll be using an extension cable coming from uh, a charger. So USB on one end and the small adapter on the other. So. Talking of adapters, here's the bag of adapters. There are eight of them. Um, so these adapters are... There's a variety. I don't know what all of them are. I believe that's uh, the Samsung charger adapter that actually fits on my mobile one of my mobile phones. There's uh, the micro USB. There is uh, what looks like an iPhone, an older iPhone style connector. <coughs> And we've got a variety of these small barrels. I don't know what most of these are for. I've not got any products that use them, so can't honestly comment. But uh, an assortment eight universal adapters. There's the uh, mini USB that we'll be using later on. So back to the main device itself again, there's the two USB outs, there's USB in for uh, charging input. So here's my uh, USB cable coming from the charger, so I'm going to plug that cable in there. And you'll see on the other end I've already put the uh, mini USB. So. I'll plug that in and start charging this device and uh, show you how it gets on. <clears throat> so as soon as you plug it in to start charging it, you'll see the lights start ascending. Uh, they're basically showing that charge is happening. So it's going one, two, three, four, five lights. Um, it does that while the unit is actually charging. If I unplug it, all the lights go out and it goes into a standby state. If I tap and hold and then release the power button, it goes into on mode. So currently this is nearly completely discharged. Um, it's only been on charge for about half an hour or so at this stage. So the lights stay on. So um, what I'll do is I'll take the same cable that came with it and plug that in to one of the outputs. But I'll change the output to a micro USB instead of the mini USB. This will plug into my mobile phone and give a charging signal. So, I'll plug that into the output. <clears throat> That's the 2.1 amp output. And uh, go get my mobile phone. Uh, this is a Nexus 4. So, get the cable the right way around. Plug it into the Nexus 4. Um, so you'll see that the, it's currently dark when I power the unit on, it wakes up the phone and the phone itself starts charging. Uh, the blinking light is showing again that it's very nearly flat. There's almost no charge on this device at all. 
So at this stage, there we go, it is charging. The Nexus 4 has got the charging indicator, it's happy. So I'm just going to grab one of my other USB cables um, and uh, start trying to charge the device at the same time. So we'll plug that into the charger cable. The end of that will be plugged into the charging port. And at this stage it uh, goes back into charging mode. And the output is switched off. There is no output from the device when it is charging. So makes it a little bit less friendly for use. It would be nice if it would output at the same time. So when I unplug the charger again, it goes into standby. I need to tap the power button again to wake the machine up before charging restarts. So that could be a little frustrating that you can't have the device on charge and have an output going. That would be nice as a backup battery rather than anything else. But that is not an option. So you can see there on the phone the output is uh, showing it is charging and uh, the phone is absolutely happy there just uh, getting its power. So here's a close up of the connectors, there's a 5 volt 2.1 and 5 volt 1 amp out. There's the LEDs and the power button and my camera in the background. <clears throat> so there's the power button. There's the charging input, that's DC in, that's um, I don't know what the charge current is, probably 1 amp or something would be reasonable. So there's the description, 50,000 milliamp, 5 volt 1 amp out uh, in this guess that is, and a 1 and a 2 amp output. Close up of all of the connectors, there's obviously the USB connector, um, standard USB, there's the adapter, the micro USB plugged in, and that's into the little extension lead, so obviously when you unplug that you end up with that male connector there, which uh, you then use to uh, insert each of the individual power cables. Overall it looks like quite a nice product, I'm happy enough with it at the moment, although it would be interesting to see how we get on with uh, the battery life as time goes on. So quite a nice product, uh, cost about £20 on eBay, um, yeah, good stuff, if it works well I may well be buying more of them.